fellas and ladies welcome back to the channel now it's been a bit of a week this week trying to get some things done on the ute has been quite difficult uh, fighting between weather and you know responsibilities in life uh, it's been a bit tricky trying to get things done but it did manage to get a little bit done which is all good right so i'll show you what's been going on at the moment and uh I'll take it from there right now a really big achievement has been getting this quarter guard sorted out I'm almost there, but the weather let me down, so I wasn't able to quite finish this bit down here. But this guard, this quarter guard, is in real nice condition now. It's nice and straight. So I'll show you some film that I took from earlier on while I was working on it. You can see in there that there's all sorts of lumps and bumps going on, and uh, you know it's a regular wave fest. But uh, you know, this is a thing when you're blocking down a car. It shows you up all the little defects, so you can fill them all up and straighten them all out as you go along. But you know, slowly, slowly, because if you rush these jobs, then next thing you know, you get it down to the paint shop and they've got a whole heap of bodywork to do and it costs you a whole heap more money. So this guard is just about taken care of and uh, well, we'll work on through that door there shortly, take care of the little bits and pieces on him, but we are getting the guards ready. Now, as you can see, the guards are still not on, but that's because the clips just arrived yesterday. Um, so I'll be able to put them on shortly, right? Uh, but Everything's taken care of in there and it's looking nice and sweet. Now I did steal the guards off of Brutus, uh, but that's another thing as well. Uh, I'm pretty glad that we didn't try and put Brutus back on the road. Uh, there was more holes in Brutus than politicians' story. And uh, we really, really couldn't put that car back on the road and even begin to call it roadworthy. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So when I took off Brutus' guard there, I noticed this. That is structural rust and I can't get over how much rust is in this car. It just seems to be never ending. To have actually tried to fix this would have been, I think, a little job beyond me. Uh, that's, that's just getting too difficult to sort these problems out. But uh, if you've got structural rust like that, there's no way this car's ever gonna be roadworthy. But one good thing was, Brutus has got a good aerial. These things cost about a hundred bucks. And uh, yeah, all, all savings are good, right? But the little trick with it is, you see, it's got the aerial goes through there, right? Because these are electric. And um, somehow, there's a wire that goes through there, and it goes through into the dash. Crossing under there, goes under through there, and out the radio hole. Now, as you can see, I've got the radio and everything out. But what it turns out is that you have to pull the whole dash out just to get the radio, out, radio aerial out of there. And uh, that's, a, that's a really big job. So again, I ran out of daylight and you know, fine weather, so I couldn't really get it done. But it was uh, one of you guys did ask me if I was gonna do a video on removing a dash. Well, I certainly will be now, but before I remove the dash out of here, I need to make sure that I've got everything sorted out that uh, has to be removed from this car because I do have to keep moving it around the yard. Because over here, that bed has got to come out, and as you see, I move my little shed so I can move my garden bed further up there and extend this uh, gravel, gravel driveway all the way down to the back fence so I've got some more room. Uh, but I'll need to move these cars around so that I can do that. And if I pull all the dash out of Brutus, she won't work anymore. So I have to sort this road out, or this track out first, before I do that, because Brutus will have to be parked over here, and then the surfer Roo will have to be parked over here, so I can get the trailer in over here to load it up, and bring the cruiser in, back her in, load that concrete into the trailer, take it all away, move all of this, bring it over there, then bring Brutus from over here, put Brutus back here, and put the surfer Roo back over there. But I have had some parts arrive, which is really good news, right? It seems to take forever for these parts to turn up. But what we've got here is a nice brand new set of headlights. Well, I'll show you these ones. Have a go at that, eh? Brand spanking new, perfect condition. And I've had a look at these and checked them out and they are identical to the original ones even though these are aftermarket. The only thing that they don't come with is uh, the actual globes. But that's not a problem, I'd want to upgrade those anyway. But these are going to be a very, very nice 
addition to that brand new front bumper, uh, it certainly will look the piece. Now this is the guard off of Brutus. It's in really, really nice condition. As you can see there, nice and straight. Not a single bit of rust in it, which is really quite ironic considering where it's come from. Uh, Brutus seems to have rust in absolutely everything else, but that's the guard for this side. So I'll go on there, and as you can see there, that's that busted aerial. So I'm going to have to take the dash out of this to get that out as well. Uh, so when I am doing a dash video, I will, you know, show exactly how it all comes out. And you shouldn't have any too many problems, right? The other guard here, now this one has been heat affected. You might be able to just see that, hope the camera can pick it up because it's got pretty poor lighting at the moment. But it's had heat affecting through here. And that's crazed, so this is going to have to go down to bare metal. Um, and you can see some more of it going on up there. And uh, it's just the same as the driver's door. Because this is the driver's side guard. And it will, yeah, this whole guard's going to have to come down to bare metal. Um, so it's going to take quite a bit more work. But I do have all the clips to be able to bolt it on. So that's one good thing, right? This has had some work done on it before. I don't know what they used. It's kind of like nail polish. But uh, it isn't very happy with the paint on this. So bring it down completely to bare metal, give it a fresh start. Uh, should take care of all of that, right? Yes, yeah, so this quarter panel is coming up pretty good. You can see down here, I've still got a little bit of work. There's a fairly good sized dent in here. This is really where all the work has to occur left on this. But uh, the rest of it is really quite sweet. Very nice. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that, but I think the boys are having a bit of a burnout session around the corner. Anyway, that's how it's looking. Now I've taken off this back uh, moulding that's on there. As you can see, that's a, some sort of gutter. I guess that's the old design and then they've just put this new moulding on and it plugs in into these little plugs there. So that's all going to have to be tidied up. But uh, I definitely have to work out exactly how I'm going to place these pods on when they come down the side. Now I haven't quite figured out yet what the angle is that I'm going to do these pods at. Now these angles that I've got to work out, you know, for these pods, you know, in the, in the original Surferoo, uh, they were quite sharp down, kind of like this. Get my trusty broom to show you. They were kind of like that. The angle was about like this. Uh, they had a piece coming out here and then coming down. So it was kind of like this was the angle. Um, but I'm thinking about going for an angle that's coming much further down and actually being more like that. So it's a much longer uh, angle. So it goes right up, of course. And then we've got the wing that goes over the back of here, straight up and over. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking about having it much longer like that and fluted or something along those lines. But I have to work out exactly how I'm going to have this angle occur because uh, that's quite, you know, a major design uh, part of, the, of what's going on with it. Uh, so you can leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. If it should be just the same sorts of angles as the original one, or update it a bit, you know. Um, not quite sure which one I'll go for yet, but I'll be looking forward to hearing your comments, right? Something else I was asked about was the gap um, on this bottom of this bumper. So I'll show it the best I can. Um, it's fairly, fairly tight. I don't, I'm pretty sure this is the, the gap that they were talking about. If it's not, leave your comment down below about um, if it's not the exact uh, gap that you were talking about for the bottom of the tailgate. But uh, that is the gap on this tailgate and it hasn't been removed. So that is still factory when it comes to what the gap should look like. But uh, this tailgate does need some work across the top a little bit needs straightening up uh, but because it has been stood on and this has crashed down there is a little bit of um, a, a small bow in it I think uh, it's not perfectly straight and it's not sitting cor totally correctly but uh, when I fix up this skin then I'll be able to fix this lip up here and uh, straighten all that along as well because over the years it's had things slammed down on it and they do bend down a little bit as you can see, it's had some pretty good bangs on it just there. But I hope that's the angle you were talking about. But if it's not, as I say, leave a comment down, down, down below. And when I fit this up to the 
uh, this tailgate up to the surfer roof. I'll go through all the, the gaps on it then. Now this week has been absolutely crazy and I've been you know, having all sorts of problems getting stuck into this job. Uh, the weather really has let me down but there's not much you can do about the rain, right? So uh, I'm hoping for this week to actually get stuck into a lot more, get some panels on, um, you know, and get a little bit more progress happening. I really would like to see that front end back on. But I do still need to change over the bonnet uh, from Brutus and put that on this one because it is much better. But it's all going to work out in the end. One of the other things that happened this week was I had my eldest son come over from Perth. Uh, so, you know, family first and uh, yeah, that had to be done. And we went and had a great old time and enjoyed ourselves all out and about in Queensland. Uh, the whole family that it is, but uh, yeah, it certainly did gobble up a lot of time and didn't have much time for anything else, especially not creating a video. So I mean, it takes heaps of time to create these things, but this will be done no matter what, and we will see progress. That's uh, going to happen for sure. So there is a lot of building I still have to do on this big girl, but uh, we'll slowly work our way through it. And Brutus here is definitely going to have to sacrifice a lot of parts. But we, like I say, we can't spend too much time uh, pulling bits and pieces off it just yet because we do have to be able to move this big girl around. That motor is going to be a real trick to pull out, that's for sure. But I will work it out and this is my goal and plan. So make sure you subscribe, check out my other videos if you haven't already. And I do appreciate you watching these ones. So thanks very much and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.